Everybody stop talking now. I tell you, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. He know about it, bitch, you know now. Say you gotta hear it from the goat. That's that. A ghost? That's that. Go Talk Radio Live. I am CEOP. And it's the big homie Double XL. And we back with another amazing show right here on Woo Radio. Now look, Double X. What it do? We're going to solve this right now, right here. Oh, this is going to be an awesome night. It's another battle. I'm back because I lost last time. Terribly. And I refuse to lose this time. You lost terribly. Let me tell you who I got in this corner. Pull out my cell phone facts. I'm talking about 75 million records sold. Multi-platinum albums. Check it out. A whole coast on their back. I'm talking about the home of Dr. Dre, Tupac, Snoop, and the Dog Pound. I am today Death Row Records. Uh. And we talking, take that, take that, take that. The people who brought it back to the East. The people who was hating at the Source Awards. On us. Because <laughs> we took it back to the East. We talking bad, boy. Take that, take that, take that. Listen, y'all, we talking about a battle five rounds. This time we're going back-to-back -back songs, and we have a bias room. I'm not sure, DJ. I'm looking at you a little funny. Aville is already bad boy bias. I don't know if I can ask for y'all votes today. Let me, let me put a little disclaimer out there. Um, I have nothing but respect for both labels, for Bad Boy and Death Row, and for what they did for the 90s. They basically built and changed hip-hop in the 90s. We all know that. Right. But today, today, I'm going to apologize right now because there will be a plethora of Death Row slander thrown throughout this show because I must win. I got to do what I got to do to win, and I'm apologizing in advance. And it's going me, down. And let me be a honey. Bad Boy is definitely not perfect, Okay. Definitely not perfect. Don't have me bring up them contracts. Don't have me bring up the aftermath of them contracts. When he said, take that, take that, he meant everything. <laughs> shout out to Puff, though. He's a change man. But he meant everything. And shout out to all the death row artists who had to be jumped in to sign their contracts. To sign your contract, you had to be put, literally had to be punched in the face at death row. That's how you Hey, 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 Bill, stop bobbing your head. I don't even like this. We going round one, y'all. We starting with the ladies. The first ladies of each label. On my end, I'm going Lady of Rage. On his end, he's going Lil' Kim. You are I mean, excuse me, Biggie Side Chick. We going Lil' Kim. Biggie Sid Side Chick. And you go talk radio. Round one, let's go. What was that? Oh, Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so you playing dirty. You just heard. Biggie, writing every single line for Little Kim, same flow, but she said it so well. Okay, so hold on. That's a disqualification. How, how sweet? Hey, Bill, I know you don't got a mic. You can just bob your head. Disqualification or not? Are we putting a a, a rapper that wrote their own rhymes? How we know? How we rapper? know Lady Rage wrote that? Shit, come on. How we know? Come on, man. Don't nobody spit like Lady Rage. That sounds like Biggie flow. Who sounds like Lady of Rage on Death Row? Nobody. Is that disqualification? Can I get disqualification in the room? Let's do thumbs up or thumbs are down? What do you think? Thumbs, thumbs up? Disqualification or no? Come on, DJ. Yeah, I got one. That's my round, bro. Period. Just off the go. Forget it, man. He coming out cheating already. You saw he playing today. But Just which one is a more iconic record? Iconic? They both sit in the same lane. You what? Know, really? If you play that Afro Puffs, you know what I'm saying? Wessa Wessa put some respect on that. This guy's crazy. Man, this guy's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wessa put respect on All right, that. Alright, man. All Wessa right. put respect on that. He playing dirty. Nah, that's my round. So that's round that's one. That's what we're doing, okay? Round two, we got up. Round two, we got up. Um, you know what I mean? First of all, let me, you know, just let y'all know about Death Row Records, man. 
the state are super labels. The first super labels, the first time a label came in making millions of dollars, a, 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 a label that was built from the ground up where the, the these are the first actual CEOs we kind of knew too. Right, X? Like, yeah, before yeah, Sugar yeah. and Puffy, we didn't, like, we heard Jay Prince now. You didn't really see Yeah, Jay but it won't, it won't, no flamboyant CEOs that were right. out in the forefront of the label before these guys. Right. These were really those two type of dudes, you know? Sugar talk about you and, and smack you up. Puffy, all in your videos. Man, so, no. so, so, Snoop, so Sugar wasn't lying at the source was. I heard the source was. Sugar Sug wanted to be Puff. He went to he, college just came, like Puff went to college. He came before Puffy, though. He was selling records before Puff. So what do you say to that, sir? No, he was, Dr. Dr. He was a security guard. Dr. Dre the Chronic. Shug started as a security guard. Dr. Dre the Chronic came out before Ready to Die. Puffy has said itself, they bought the East back. The East was in turmoil when that when the dog pound came on the scene. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Turmoil took over radio. You heard it. You was in Virginia. You know what I mean? You had your dickies Man. on. Nah, you nah, wanted some converse. Nah, you nah, wonder nah. you wondered how that car got up on, off the off the off the street like that and it was bouncing. <laughs> you was watching Minutes of Society talk about then, Mark Buster. They was doing it. <laughs> yeah, we influenced the whole thing. New York and New Jersey look just like Cali because of death row. I, I don't know what y'all was doing up there. That was but you know what we doing out here in Virginia. Yeah, because y'all we, we we like what they was doing, but you know, we still had our own thing. I don't know if y'all had your own thing. I'm gonna leave that alone. That's a personal thing. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all sounded like Wu-Tang. And shout out, shout out to, shout like out to the Lady of Rage, which is a Virginia native. I do want to give it Oh, yeah. Shout oh, yeah. So that's another reason why you should be on her side. <laughs> and you tried to say that she was ghost. You tried to say Snoop Ghost wrote her rhyme. He might have. Oh, might've. that shit from Virginia. Yeah, I don't have no loyalty, yo. This guy's disloyal. Round one is I'm me. I'm loyal to the truth. Round one. So look, look, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we doing. Cause I know what y'all saying. Y'all saying, how did X play Little Kim? Cause Little Kim te technically was not signed to Bad Boy Records. You're right. So what we want to let y'all know is we are playing people that was a part of that legacy from '92 to 2000. Whoever's part of that legacy is going to be included in this battle. Indeed. So Little Kim was a strong affiliate. She was on several records. Now we go into another affiliate of Death Row, which is Warren G and Nate Dogg. Versus? Rest in power. Our guy. We talk at Harlem stand up. This is my round! Black Raw. This is my round! Because when you play Little Kim, that Biggie wrote the rhymes, it's take like, that, take whoa. That, take that. So look, go talk radio, y'all keep take it locked. That, take Round that, take two. That. And what you just heard was a smoker by Black Rob called Whoa! And then it was another song called Regulators by Warren G and the Dog. Go talk radio, COP double XL. That was the worst. First of all, put some respect on Warren G, rest in power, Nate Dog. Because Nate Dog. What we talking about? What we talking about? Dr. Dre's Rest brother? The, rest, yeah. This, and he's a producer. Does he even he have any that Dr. Dre blood floor? He produced that record. He's a half brother? He produced that record. He's half talented? And had many other records after that. He was signed to Def Jam. But is it Tell like, Warren whoa? G. But is so it like, look, whoa? So look, this is going to be the controversial one. So, you know, we got to go to the room. Room. Black Rob, round two, if y'all just tuning in, Death Row, Bad Boy. Room, Bad, Black Rob's Woe versus Nate Dogg's Regulator. Regulator. Featuring Nate Dogg, rest in power. Black Rob, rest in power. We got two people that were deceased. We miss y'all hip hop. Uh, DJ, uh, thumbs up if you're with Woe. No? Regulate? Which one? Warren G or Black Rob? Avil? Who? You know I'm Black Rob all day, man. Okay, that's Black Rob. Like, whoa. You're, you're not sure? We got Vaughn. Black Rob and Warren G. I'm scared of this answer. This is our cameraman. Black so, Rob and Warren G. Uh, thumbs up for Warren G. Woo! We got a tie! We got a tie. We hey, got a tie. hey, internet, internet, internet. Black Rob or Warren G. 
Talk to us. We'll, we'll, talk we'll, to let, us. we'll let you know, man. They talking to us. We, we we live right now, so they talking to us. We'll see what's going on. That's actually a great tie record. Let me tell you why. Okay, talk to them. Both songs have different feels. Yes. They, it's really crazy that we put them up because one song's like a real grungy, hardcore feel. The other one is a laid back, you know, vibe out feel. But both yes, records are incredible records to the culture. Yes, sir. So and then and then and then. I don't want to, I want to compare them too much, but I feel like even though Warren G on the West is considered a legend, I feel like their career is similar too. Maybe a couple albums, you know what I'm saying? A couple years for each artist, you know what I'm saying? So I think that was an incredible matchup. Um, Death Row vs. Bad Boy, uh, I just want to let you know um, that uh, we're not playing any beef records, however, uh, Bad Boy Records did start that East Coast West Coast beef. Um, I don't know if people know. Come on, uh, man. Wait, uh, what are you uh, talking about? That did. What are you talking? They about? They didn't mean to, but it was aggressive. It was some tension. Actually, Jermaine, it's Jermaine Dupree fault too, because it was some tension out of Jermaine Dupree. Another party. show that JD pops up. Uh, yeah, shout out to JD. It was a, it was a little tension between the two, and then sadly, Puffy's bodyguard shot Suge's best one of Suge's friends at the party. You know, probably protecting Suge. And so it started off one zero, bad boy. He yo, that's foul. <laughs> that's almost as foul as Gucci Man says smoking on Buki Loke. You was a foul guy. You was foul. I'm just I trying to go there. I'm just trying I'm to say we got alone. the first I'm point. I'm gonna leave it alone. You are bugging. We got I'm the first alone. point. That's I'm all I'm saying. Alone. All I'm saying is both parties bad. You know, what I'm saying. I'm glad most of the people involved are in a good place right now. You know, Suge's locked up, man. He made a vent a man. As he a should of, be. He made amends with a lot of the uh death row artists that he uh either beat up or put in bad contract. Both of these labels got bad contracts. Let's be honest. Yeah, there's a lot of bad contracts Let's be honest. going around. Cause Suge, you know, he gave his artists cars and houses but never really gave them money. But, uh, and had them living in one hotel. And like in different hotel rooms. <laughs> That's gangster. Hey, stay here. We're gonna record. And, ID this house. And Puff was, was, and Puff was gonna pretty much hold on to those masters. Yeah, you can't. He's you can't. You, pretty yeah, much hold on to those. You can't you know? leave Puff. Say, let, let me keep these in a good place. Speaking of speaking of that, let's talk about the groups that were uh, involved in each. We had the Dog Pound. That's who we like. The Dog Pound initially was all of them, and then now it's just Daz and Corrupt. That's who came out with the album. Who and we're got? talking about the locks, the one legend. of the legendary yeah. groups of all time of that are still putting out music. Uh, I don't know if the Dogs Pound still putting out music. I haven't heard anything from them. <laughs> yeah. CDs were in. Yeah. You see the locks. You still see the locks out here. Yo. The dog Yo, Pound. Yo, bro. Yo, Wawa. stop talking, man. Round three. <laughs> Bad Boy vs. Death Row. Let's go. And then you have it. You have an incredible record by the Dog Pound and a smash by the Lots featuring the late DMX. Rest in peace, DMX. Hey, my record has Snoop on it. No one cares. <laughs> Money, power, respect. My record was on Doggy Style that sold a lot of records. So, listen to how both records come on. You in the club full of people. Oh. Your record comes on. It's okay. People going outside to smoke a cigarette. Let that junk go. Ding, 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 ding. First you get the money, then you get the power, and then you get the respect. Everybody's going crazy. You know what? And you know it. I'm going to be a hundred. I'm going to be a hundred. You know what I mean? Let me let me keep it a hundred thousand on this show. Keep it a thousand. For a long time, and this includes the South, because you, you at the top of the South. You know what I'm saying? There's been a lot of West Coast bias. Y'all don't want them boys to shine, yo. It's something in your blood that don't want them boys to shine. They were on Dog Pound. You got coaches around the world that knows Dog, excuse me, they was on Snoop Doggy Style. You got coaches around the world that know Doggy Style front to back. All right? No disrespect to my locks, brothers, but they don't have an album you know front to back. Just being 100 with you. And the Dog Pound sold more records than the locks. I'm just being a hundred. Is Dog Pound music even on title? Can you, yes, it is. Can you stream yes, that music or you yes. only get it in hard? Yes, music? yes. And it came back. They reconciled with Uncle Snoop, dropped two more albums. Cali is active. Y'all put some respect on the pound, yo. It's no. not enough respect on Nate Dog and them. 
I just, y'all gotta put some more respect on the West. Dog pal. Y'all try to erase stop, the West uh, from the history uh, book. You stop trying to throw That's more Warren G in there with, with the dog pal. Which no, mean? it's not dog pal. Don't throw Warren G in there with them. I ain't this is, say no this is dog pal. Yes, you did. No, this is dog pound versus the Glocks. I who who you got? I'm going to pound, of course. You, you seriously? Yeah. He look he, he, he did sound respect. confident. Money power respect? This look like another lost round. So look, this is what we're gonna do. Ron, recap. what you said? Definitely money power respect. Okay, listen. Recap. Give me mad. Hold on. Recap. Death Row versus Bad Boy. Round one, Lady of Rage, Lil' Kim, my round. He Bad, it was right. Ghost right. It was a low blow. It was a low blow. Black Rob, it's closer than you think. Black Rob, Warren G, we went to the internet, they couldn't decide. Ty. Ty. Okay. The dog pound, the locks. You, I lost. All right, I'm gonna be honest. So it's one, one, and one right now. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tied. So next, these iconic labels, I don't know if one bit off the other, because it's, I didn't notice this till we started battling. Uh, there was a collaboration with the producer and a top artist at the time. So on your end, at Bad Boy, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Big was gone by that time. Big so, was gone and we broke out the shiny suits. So Mace became the top dog. So was Diddy, you don't even want to stomach that. Look at his face! America! He don't want to say Mace is a top tier MC! Wow! Harlem, how you feel? So Mace and Diddy Harlem up, because they both from Harlem. <laughs> Harlem up before Dipset, you know what I'm saying? Got together. You know what I mean? Broke out the and aluminum foil. Broke out the shiny suits. Did a bunch of incredible records together. On my end, on the west side, which is the best side, we got Dre and Snoop. I know what y'all saying. That's not fair. You gonna play the one That's Jay-Z wrote? That's not fair. You gonna play the one? That's not fair. Oh, no, no, you gonna play no, the one? No, because you gonna why, try to cut why, why you play the one Jay-Z wrote? Nah, but first of all. Play, play the song, the whole all, song Jay-Z wrote, no, baby. No, no, listen. Listen. Don't go there. Because your guy said, I don't write rhymes, I write checks. So Puffy wrote nothing, all right? Dre and Puffy did not write anything. We know that. Well, Dre, right? write, Dre write checks, too. He right? had to write over yeah. check. Yeah, he did write over check, but over ain't all bad for it. So he get no credit for that. So we going Mace and Diddy versus Dre. It's, it's not even, do you want to do this? Let's do this. Do you want to do this? Let's do this. I mean, it's my point. If you want to do this, I'm going to let you lead. Hey, let's do it. I ain't scared. Huh? Round, listen. Puffy man. and Mace, let's go. Round four. You know what I mean? Puff, Mace, Dre, Snoop. It's a wrap for you. I don't even like how that sounds. It's a wrap. You wouldn't. I'm going to get hype anyway. We look like Biggie today. Look at him. Come on, man. And, yo, YouTube, look at him. He trying to be big today. Man. You know what I mean? No. He trying to be big. Turn up his headphones. They're trying to be big. Listen, man, go talk radio. Bad boy. Keep it locked. Take that, Death Row versus Bad Boy, round four. Go talk radio live. CEOP Double XL right here on uh. Hood Radio, round four. If you're just tuning in, it's Death Row versus Bad Boy. That was round four. It is tied at 1 1. That's about to change. We just had Diddy and Mace. Don't push me, because I'm close to the Edge, they stole that. Like, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, Diddy samples everything, so he had to sample that. Uh, and I like Diddy. Diddy, you know, I still like Diddy. You know, I feel like we would be good on Revolt. But, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Diddy really don't take, you know, he's brother love now. But back then, it was sampling everything, so they did that. And then I played Dr. Dre and Snoop I, next I, episode. I, I, don't, I don't like that rap. Next because episode. you had Snoop Dogg. No, 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 no. And I don't got nobody to really no, put against Snoop Dogg. No, 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 no. It's no, not no, fair. No, 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 it's no, not no, fair. No, no, let's go to the room. DJ, next episode, Dr. Dre versus Diddy Mace. Don't push me. Cut. Uh, close to the edge. Dr. Dre, put your thumbs up. No, Dr. Dre? You going Diddy Mace? Ha-ha! Wow. Ha-ha! Keep it a thousand. I'm on, I'm on Dre on this one, yeah. Okay. Thank you, man. Keep it a thousand. Oh, man. So who's going to break the... Come on, Vaughn. I'm going to have to go with you. Huh? With Dre? 
Oh, Drake. Oh, oh, no, no, he going with Drake. That's it. That's it. Ah, I'm two. I'm up. Two one. This could, yo, we either go See, in I'm with a tie. What, I'm gonna tell we you. We either what, go in with a tie or. I'm going to be honest. It didn't matter what Snoop and Dre joint you played. It was going to win. It was going to win. Yeah, I like We're that. We're talking Snoop and Dre. I like that. I like That's that. what I'm saying. Who, I like that. You, Keep it at that. How you, how you going to come with Snoop and Dre and I got to go with Puffy and Maze? Ladies and gentlemen, that ain't, that ain't X right. wanted to come in here and play all Biggie. I wanted to play all Biggie. How are we gonna have a bad boy versus Death Row with all Biggie records? Bad boy is Biggie. So, so, so you saying bad boy only have one artist? No, and yes. <laughs> Which one? Yes or no? Bad boy only have one artist from '92 to 2000. No, yes. Hold on, hold on. This is another thing, ladies and gentlemen. Let me call. Let me call. I ain't got bleak out here to say out of order. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get that ready, uh, Avil. Because once I once I drop this bomb before I'm round five, you are gonna look at our brother Double XL different. Double XL out his mouth in pre-production said Diddy featuring Biggie and Busta Rhymes. Victory was trash. Mm. No, I did not. No, I did not. Mm. <laughs> I said I won't use in that song in no battle. Why? Because it's trash for a battle. See? Say it again. It's, it's trash bad. for a battle. No, it's you not said a battle record. Trash and victory should not be in the same sentence. It's not a it's not a battle. If you would have played victory in this first of all. Next coming round, we got Big and Tupac. Okay, but tell me this though. Tell me this though. And Tupac, Tupac. Tell me this. Big since you know all your hip hop history, Tupac. Since Tupac you know all your history, did everything. Tell me what was the inspiration for Death Row coming up with their production team called the Hitmen? No, 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 no. What? You're, I'm you're asking you. The Hitmen. You're uh, what was the Hitmen? Yo, you're talking about the mob. Yeah, the mob. My bad. Yeah. Same thing. Hitmen, mob. They all in the, in the, the mafia. What yeah. was what was their motivation? The hitman. Why? Why did Shug form a production team? Because of Puffy. Because of Puffy. He wanted to be like Puffy. He just couldn't grow that hair. I don't think he wanted to be like Puffy. He did want to be Puffy. I'm going to tell you what happened. Mm. Shug came on the scene. They were smashing. They were by they self-selling millions of records. Then Puff came in, shiny suit the game, and started selling millions of records. It could only be one. I think it was in the beginning. I feel like it was healthy competition, ego. But then Suge is a gangster, so the gangsterisms got involved, and it, it didn't go well. And I'm very listen. Hold on. Let's say this disclaimer. I'm very sad it went that way because I think if both labels could have came together, it would have been a better, incredible been situation. Incredible and I really think if Big and Pop was still alive today, they would have reconciled and they would have took care of it. But that ain't what we talking about. We got and Big and Biggie. Pop. If they were still alive, Biggie would have just made Death Row better because they needed the help. Right. Anyway, man, Biggie vs. Pac is coming up. I know y'all been waiting for this one. This is, this is definitely my round. This is going to decide who takes it, man. I got incredible take Pac that, record that, that. clipped up. He got a big record. That's, take that, that's take dope. That, that's that. dope. That's so so. Let's go. Round five Death Row vs. Bad Boy. Yeah. You. Yeah, this is the big homie Double XL. I just want to let the whole hip hop world know that at the Source Awards, Run DMC got a Lifetime Achievement Award. Run DMC in 95, 10 years in the game, Lifetime Achievement Award. Everybody stood up and gave them a standing ovation. Go talk right Except now. for one crew. C-O-P, double X-A. Death Row didn't stand up, they ain't clap. For yeah. Run DMC! We on rule radio. Explain right? yourself. Death Row versus Bad Boy. Explain that. This is how a loser sounds. Round five. How you not clap for Run DMC? What are you talking about? Death Row at the Source Awards. I don't remember them not clapping for 95. Listen, man, hold on. Google hold on. it. Hold on. Let's be 100. Let's be 100. All right? Let's be 1,000. All right? The, the West Coast was running a game at that time. Big and it was the hottest thing in New York at the time. You asking me how we didn't clap? Why you ain't stand up for Run DMC Lifetime Achievement? Award. How did in New York? I, you said how we like I was in a crowd. I wasn't there. My brother was there. You represent Death Row right now. Though. Listen, this is the thing. They didn't even clap for Andre 3000. Outcast getting first award. 
We t- he had to say the South got something to say because they wouldn't even clap for them. But we talking there was about Randy so DMC. In the beef. We talking about Red DMC. We so talking about, about Reffy Run. I don't remember that. I don't think that's a fact. It's a fact. Find the footage. Post it on Instagram. This, this guy. You know what I'm saying? This guy. A fact. Uh, you know, but I know what happened. You know, Snoop D O Double G got on that stage with a stick and said, Y'all ain't got, New York ain't got love for Snoop Dogg. But you know what? We know where we at. You know why he did that, though? We know where we at. You know Y'all that? ain't got love for Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. You know why he did that? You forgot Biggie got up about, Bad Boy might have got up about seven times that night to accept awards. I would have been a little upset, too. I know what that feels like. You know what it feels like to get up and accept the whole bunch of things. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Shout out, you know, shout out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, look, man, let's not waste no time. Round five, uh, I got to go to the room. We played Biggie kicking the door. We played Tupac, Ambitious of a Rider. No, we haven't. Not yet. Yes, we have. Yes. Oh, I'm a... No, it's all good. We go, <laughs> where, where you going, DJ? Kicking the door. Okay, we got one for Biggie. This is gonna, this might decide it. This is what we talking about for years. We got one for Biggie. Where you going, Abel? I'm Pac on that one. Woo! Abel, you see, 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 where you saying? You gotta break the tie. We gotta win. Talking about Caramel Smalls. Where you saying? I'm definitely going with my man Biggie Smalls. Ooh. Ooh. Kicking the door. Ooh. This is the second time, America, my cameraman has caused me to lose. Yeah. It was a tiebreaker last time. Bad song. Drake vs. Freeway, and he gave... Yo, he... At, so, hold on. Is that enough? It's because y'all riding the same so that's, car. That's a tie, right? No, you won. Hold on, hold on. First round was what? First round was uh, Lady of Rage. I won. Lady of Rage. That's one for you. Yeah. Second round. Tie. Tie. Third round. Me. You. No, no, no. You. Locks. Locks me. Yeah. This round. Oh! You won. <laughs> you won. Hold on. We got, we, got a, we got a bonus coming up, though. Yeah, we yeah. We got a bonus uh, coming up. This bonus may change the game. Hey, man, listen. Hold on. So, we got this round where we, we, we want to highlight some things that shouldn't have happened. So, actually, I'm going to do, do my end. This, I'm going I'm to list about nine, ten things that shouldn't have happened on death row. Artist shouldn't got beat up. Suge shouldn't have got a case in 9 5 for assaulting a rapper. I think it was Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Again, he shouldn't have violated probation in 96 fighting with Tupac. He got an early release, and then he uh, struck a parking deck attendant, went to jail again. 08, these are just facts. Don't kill me, West Side people. He got knocked out in a club. Oh, 09, he got punched again. Then it was shooting with Jeezy. Then it was drug possession. Then he killed somebody. You know what I'm saying? On the set, a dog goes straight out of Compton trying to talk to Dr. Dre and Ice Cube about his part. These things just should have happened, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, neither should Hammer. I know where you're going. You're and going four hammer. things that shouldn't have happened on Bad Boy is die line, die line, die line, and die line. <laughs> <laughs> Go talk I'm radio, y'all. And we back, Go Talk Radio. And what you just witnessed was another spanking. A double XL giving it to CEO B. Bad Boy versus Death Row. Um, last round, what you just heard was some crazy records. MC Hammer? Pumps that, in the he, bottom. He, he, that wasn't on Death Row, though. I'm just letting you know. So that was cool, what you just did, but uh, that wasn't. He shouted Death, Death Row all in that video. He was repping Death Row. It wasn't on Death Row. He was pumping and bumping for the Death Row right then and there. I mean, he was, yeah, he, he shot him out and he said Snoop and all that, and he was supposed to drop an album on Death Row, but it never happened. So, it, but but if we talking stuff that labels should have never did, you know, I got to be honest about some things that uh, happened over here at Good Old Bad Boy. Come on, come on with uh, me. One. Uh, yeah, hey, 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 before you go in there, just don't mess up our revolt. I'm not, so I'm, I'm trying not, to just say, I just feel like. the brother love. I feel like uh, Puff signing of um, Shine Shine was just too soon. It was too soon. Well, like the next artist you're gonna sign, you're gonna sign somebody that sounds just like Biggie. But he too signed, soon. But he signed long. It was but like he was trying to like Mace. I know, but it was like he was trying to replace Big and Mace. They made him so much money. That's, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. And and Mark, I like Shine first album. Though. Mark Carey should never have. Like you say, 
got a question. No, the rapper. Gary. I got a question oh, for both of you. We ain't go uh, in no way. Yeah. I got a question for you, CEO. What's up, B. cameraman? Who else would you have maybe liked to see on uh, Death Row Records? The cameraman has asked me who else I would like to see on Death Row Records. At that time, who would you have liked to see on Death Row Records? I'm going to be a thousand with you. I wish Death Row never stopped in that whole aftermath era just turned into Death Row. I think that would have been hot. Like if it was Eminem, Exhibit, mm. oh, uh, Snoop was still there, Dre was still there. And they just could have kept that. Kendrick would have been there. They would have kept eventually, that whole thing. eventually Nipsey. If that would have, if that whole yeah, thing would have stayed yeah, together, yeah. that that would have been definitely like it would have been. been those guys. Yeah, because because hold on, let's let's talk about this, right? You know, we, we, we talking about all the bad stuff, but let's keep it on it. This Death Row was the first label really to unite the West Coast. Like they had Crips and Bloods running together, so yeah, they was right. the first want to do that so even though it kind of turned into you know a little bit of bullying the artists and bullying in the game suge is also the first one that really fought for artists like you didn't like your contract you go to suge i mean i don't know what you were signing with him but he'll go get you out of your contract like he'll go bully you out of your contract and the contrary to popular belief it was never never really a east coast west coast thing more so as a bad boy Death Row thing because Suge was trying to sign several artists from the East Coast. I mean, he wasn't just trying to stick to a, West Coast. It was true. people that we want. He wanted to reach out to. I'm gonna be a hundred too, man. Um, you know, and and I don't know who else to put this on, but Suge. But um, that I feel like that Pac and Big thing was a little instigated. You know, like he got shot. They did have a disagreement. Um, according to the Biggie movie, I don't know whose story this was, but Big wanted to talk to Pop, and Puff was like, nah. And then also according to the story, you know what I'm saying, when Pop came home, he wanted to ride and kind of the battery went in his back and we got your back. And that's also what kind of tore down Death Row because as you see later, Snoop Dogg did not feel like that. You know what I mean? Snoop Dogg didn't really have a problem with Puffy. It's the same thing that happened with G Unit. Like when you got the when you got some of the head guys that got a problem with everybody in the industry, some of the artists around on the same label got a side with that and they ain't really with that. And you know what? This is what we fail to realize. You know, we're all older now and we're looking at it from a grown man's perspective, but we fail to realize these guys was twenty two, twenty three sure, years old. Sure, wasn't no kid. No, I'm, I'm talking about the guys on the yeah, label. Yeah, we're yeah. talking about Biggie and Pop, we're talking about yeah, they was young, relatively kids now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They was young. Yeah, they, they was young, they man. Was young. They but, was young. Um, I mean, Death Row still sold more records. So, I mean, in the battle, I won. Yeah, you yeah, hammer sold more records too. Uh, <laughs> you know, we're going off record sales. I'm just saying. It's bad, boys. You better be lucky. Can't come here and I couldn't play five biggie joints because then it would have been five hold on, hold on. zero. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you 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 really think? Biggie, let's say I give you the whole Biggie catalog. You really telling me you think yep. that you can yep. beat Big's catalog can beat Pac's whole catalog? Yeah. The whole catalog? Yeah. Starting with Tupacalypse? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. I feel that way. I agree. He's Who y'all got? Y'all got Big catalog or Tupac's catalog? Pac's catalog. Man, y'all fuck it. Y'all fuck it. No, Pac man. have Pac all day. I, 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 don't, I don't see it, man. Biggie has some powerful records. The beats, the boom bap beats are hard to beat, man. So look, y'all go, y'all, y'all, y'all go to the internet. I want to know. Do y'all want to see Big versus Pop next season? Because we could do it. I'm gonna smoke you. We could do it. You don't want to do it. I, don't, we and I only it. got two albums to pick from. And All right, get it back, down, back no, down then. Back no, down then. You're gonna die back horrible down, down then. No, no. Don't bring it up. I then. take I take quality over quantity. Because you were supposed to lose tonight. No, but it didn't happen. I'll be a hundred with you. That's because we it, got the, if I would have, if I had and you, one. And if you ain't come with that little Kim sneakiness, you wouldn't have got that round. You played that little Kim record. You could have played how many licks? You could have played some she wrote. Hold on, you just asked the grown man to tell him should have played how many licks? I didn't, listen. Nah, B. Listen, Death Row vs. Bad Boy, Bad Boy Run for the Night. We thank y'all for tuning in. It's Go Talk Radio. HBMG on, on Demand. demand.
that's scary. Yeah. That's scary. HPMG on the bench. <laughs> Merch.com. <laughs> Get all your Go Talk merch, man. We appreciate y'all tuning in right here on Woo Radio every Friday, 8 p.m., man. Shout out to y'all. Y'all the MVP. We go. You. <laughs>